What's up, guys? It's me, General Sam, back at it again with another stream off schedule at the wrong time. I'm sorry. Red Dead was out. Last night was supposed to be Fallout. So much for that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys were in on the Fallout beta, but like released. I was sitting there waiting for it. First of all, it said 5 o'clock, so I was waiting for it. And then I saw the thing that was like, nah, we're opening the servers at 7. So... At 7, I sat down, and it was like, hey, you all, you have to download the game again. And, like, everybody was downloading it. So, it was like, there was a four-hour window to play the beta. And it was like, yeah, it'll take seven hours to download. I'm like, what the fuck? So, I never even got to play it last night. And then, what took all the excitement out was Brian got to play it, and he said it sucked. He was very disappointed in it. So now I'm not even, like, excited. Then again, it is a multiplayer game, and he's playing it kind of all by himself. Uh, I'm sure that takes the fun out. But, oh well. 
I'm hoping that because they're making that game, um, Fallout is being treated as like a games as a service. Maybe it'll um, it'll get better with time, you know, like a fine wine or Susan Sarandon. You know, you know, she just looks like a, a more and more of a snack every year. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, yeah. What was I gonna say? I forget. Oh yeah. So, uh, no, Lieutenant General Sam, my child is still alive. Um, in laws are taking care of her today. And I'm just kind of chilling, playing Red Dead. I finally got to post that video that I made like a week ago. They kept manually confirming that it wasn't advertiser friendly until I went out of my way and censored everything, put it back up, still confirmed not advertiser friendly. And so I went back through and oh, censored. Yeah. I censored the word. Uh, I say like, uh, like halfway through, I'm like, you can be friends with a black man. And I censored black man. So now it just sounds horrible because it's like, you can be friends with a... And so it sounds like I say the N-word. And uh, and now that's fine. Because YouTube uh, doesn't like black people. So they were like, hey, we got to censor that. That's not advertiser friendly. We don't want them on our platform. You know, which uh, to be honest with you, Chief, I don't really uh, agree with that. I was happy to be a friend with a black guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so once I censored that, I put it back up on YouTube and it was good to go. The guy, uh, the guy that was reviewing, it was like, Oh, now that you got the black man out of there, this one's a, a fire video. Let's put the ads on it. But they were fine with me beating up the retard in the bar. I forgot about that part. And if, and if you're like, Oh Sam, that's vulgar and everything. Look, I'm not the one that beat up the retard. The retard was put into the game and you have to fight him. It's not my fault. All right, if you're mad about it, get upset with Rockstar for putting retards in the game that you have to fight. You know, I I can assure you I did my duty as as Arthur Morgan in the game, but I did not pull my punches because they told me, they said, Sam, you're helping this guy out by beating him up. So I did my duty as a citizen when I beat up the retard in the bar. I didn't pull punches, but I wanted to. <laughs> Anyways, I'm in, um, currently I'm in West Elizabeth. No, wait, hold on. Let me figure out where the fuck I am. All right. I'm not in West Elizabeth yet. Oh, wait, yeah, I am. I'm on the edge of it, right? I'm near Wallace Station. And I saw this little thing, the X. It said corpse. X marks the spot, right? So I went over there because I, you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a killing fool, but I didn't, I hadn't killed anybody there. So I went to go investigate, and uh, I see all this blood-like activity on the floor over here. Hold on, let me yeah. get off my horse so I can fully examine this. I'll get in the first person too, so you can get the real experience. I saw this blood, and I sniffed it. <laughs> oh, you see this top of my head? I should probably move the. Game. <laughs> That's funnier. It doesn't matter. And uh, and so I start following the trail. You know, because I've been watching Forensic Files. I know how this goes. And you follow the trail until... Uh... Wait, hold on. I lost the trail. Oh, it's over here. So I follow the trail like a bloodhound. Like I'm hunting for a bitch on her period. And boom diggity. What do I find? More and more meat, right? But then, all of a sudden, the trail takes a turn to the right. And lo and behold, do you see? I found a man all chop it up on a rock with his entrails hanging out. Looks to be decapitated. I'm no scientist, but I would like to think the head's missing. Because I think my head would be right about there, center screen. This guy doesn't have one of those, so I'm like, I'm thinking he might be, uh, head might be chopped off, and, uh, my suspicions were confirmed when I turned this way, and I found a severed head of the main, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, hold on, severed head, 
right there. And uh, in the mouth of this severed head, I found a, a shred of paper. Now, here's where we're going back. This is like a Quentin Tarantino film. We got to roll it back because this isn't happening in chronological order. Several days ago, on the, the day that this game came out, I found a similar crime scene. Very similar indeed, where a man was hanging from a, a railroad trellis. Similar, his arms were up, head decapitated, and in the mouth of the head, I found a, a scroll shoved in there, much like a cock would be shoved in a mouth. I don't know what that has to do with this. Anyways, so a uh, very phallic-like roll of t uh, paper was shoved in his mouth, and, and then the next day I found another one. So this is three of them that I found. This one was on a rock, one was on a trellis thing, and then the, oh, where was the other one? Oh yeah, the other one was on a, uh, uh, in, in the swamp region, on a live oak tree, just hanging there. And all very similar, um, you know, I, like I said, I've been watching Forensic Files. This guy has a very, um, specific M.O. He, uh, you know, he gets the person, and, uh, presumably ties them up alive. Because of the blood splatter and everything. And then, um, you know, something happens. Uh, see, it's still dripping. It's fresh. I'd like to think he removes the legs somehow, surgically maybe, after death. But it's pretty brutal because there's like hanging strands of meat. So I'm sure he does it with like a, a spork or something, just stabbing away at it. Probably pretty laborious task. And he cuts off the head. But if you examine the head, that's a pretty clean cut. That's done with a scalpel. You know, so this guy's got, he's got a certain, he's got a technique going on. And then he leads a trail of blood to the nearest road because he wants to be found. He wants to be caught. He's leaving clues. And at each one, he puts the severed head with the map in there. Right? So, you know, being the investigator, I found all those little maps. And I pieced them together. And then I put them together with tape. You know, and I came to, I came together with this. This is the map of his location. Uh, I think it's his location because if I hit this and I flip it over, he's scrawled on the back. Can you find me? And um, so I'm assuming that's him that I'm looking for. So his clues that he gave me were uh, there's a bridge over here on the top left. It's like through across the bridge and up into the hills. And then the, uh, the second clue is the halfway constructed cabin. And then the third clue is, uh, um, it looks like a safe lock or something. Okay. Now here's where I'm at a standstill, because I have no idea where the fuck that is. And I have studied it long and hard. Still can't really figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where that is. Um... So then I was thinking, well, this is the final clue. This is the last place. It has to be nearby here. So I'm going to start out. Also, if you look at the, this map on, this is the one place that I haven't fully explored. You see how it starts to get a little bit gray, and, and this isn't explored up here, and then this isn't explored down here. So I was going to go ahead and, and cruise around. My favorite thing is to look around at homesteads, you know, uh, I found a grandma right here, if you guys are playing, I found a, over at Watson's Cabin, there's a grandma over there, um, she's pretty cool, she's got a semi-auto shotgun in her basement, I also burnt $20 to order a big iron mug last week, I may have shot her in the if it ain't here by Saturday, I'm lassoing another hurricane and dragging it over on your oh, ass, oh, hold on, Hold on, Trevi Weapons Guy. Thanks for the resub for 17 months. Hold on a second. BR BRB. Oh, yeah. Trevi purchased, with his own money, a big iron coffee cup with, you know, it says them big iron ballads with them big iron hips. And on the back, it, what's that? It's me. As Marty Robbins with my big iron cock. And this uh, this coffee cup is significantly larger than I thought it was going to be. This is a real, uh, 
you know, if you get in a fight with your wife, you can club her over the head with it, you know? Uh, I bought one to do, like, a, a sample thing to make sure it was, like, good quality and stuff. It's pretty fire, my guy. I was impressed. I was impressed. Marty um, Robbins dies at the end. Sam. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not a good spoiler. I don't know. <laughs> Marty Robbins dies in the 80s, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I forget when he died. But, yeah. Anyways. um, Yeah, what was I doing? Yeah, yeah. So, I wanted to uh, explore this place out in West Elizabeth. But I figure, since I found this uh, this map right here, this is the final one, I'm assuming he's nearby. So what I was going to do was find any instance where a bridge goes oh, over yeah. a body of water. So I'm assuming he lives up here somewhere. Like, I don't know. This this is a this one's a spicy meatball. I really, I don't know where this thing is. I'm going to go up here, up this river. I'm going to follow it. I'm going to look for any bridges. I'm thinking it's up this river somewhere. And if it's not, boy, oh boy, am I going to be upsetty spaghetti. But I'm thinking it's up there. Well, we'll see. Yeah. How long is this stream going to be? I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm getting out of this stupid-ass mode. Oh, by the way, if you guys... You know, I've seen the way that uh, Shinji was dressed... Didn't really jive with me, Shinji. I'm not going to lie to you. And I feel like I've come up with the perfect Arthur Morgan look. Wait, hold on. Let me get my proper hat on. Come on, girl. On here. Now, I feel kind of bad because I, I don't have... I don't have, like... I'm not fully shaved. I haven't, I'm not... My clothes aren't washed. I, don't, I haven't pomaded my hair and everything. But, you know, I like to think that if Arthur Morgan was going to be an absolute sex machine, this is the way he would look. He's got the mutton chops. Um, I need to shave the chin. He hasn't slept in a couple days, so he's getting tired. He's got the stovepipe top hat. He's got the uh, sexy, like, hunting duster jacket, pinstripe pants, and some leather shoes. He's looking pretty dapper, Dan. Also got a vest. Now, I kind of wish the bandolier went behind his lapel instead of his lapel going underneath the bandolier. But, you know, we can't all be picking choosers, you know. It's... Anyways, uh, I'm planning on getting the mutton chops. I've been taking some hair tonic. I wish they made that in real life, you know, to get this going on. But uh, I've been taking some hair tonic to grow out the mutton chops because I want, like, those mutton chops that go out and, like, are over my lapels on my jacket. I want them massive, like fucking Wolverine or something. They're getting kind of long. All right, all right. Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't. Uh, I'm sorry. What is this? Uh, All right. Girl. What's his name? Oh, wait, hold on. This guy. Oh, uh, Squatchenstein. He was like, "Hey, I haven't been able to watch the streams yep. and so on. I haven't been like streaming on schedule. I've been waiting for my new PC, which has taken two months to get here." Run this thing over. Um. Yeah, I have. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go back. Oh, yeah. This, wait, this is where I need to go. I want to see if that is the bridge that's in the map. That would be too convenient, I think. Whoa. Wait, is that a train coming for me? Hell yeah, it is. I'm going to fucking get my horse killed here. <clears throat> and hold on, let me... Yeah, I need to turn on game volume. Or do I just need to turn up mic volume? Which one is it? I'll turn down game volume a little bit. There we go. Perfect. What did I miss, boys? You haven't missed shit. I have just been talking this whole time. I haven't done a damn thing. We're, uh, we're desperately hunting for the serial killer <clears throat> of uh, West Elizabeth. Which, to be honest with you, seems like such a heinous crime. But he's only killed three people, as far as I can tell. And that's not many. Alright, so... This isn't even a bridge. All right, I'm looking for a bridge. If you guys in chat know where this fucking bridge is, that would be great. That would be awesome. 
But this ain't it, because this is just a body of water. Not what I'm looking for. All right, hold on. Um, I'm going to go up. Yeah, I'm just going to follow the, the creek or the river upwards. Because it has to cross a body of water, I'm assuming. Nobody builds a bridge just across nothing. It has to be water. So I'm just going to follow the little creek. Maybe it's up here, maybe it's not. This is unexplored territory for me. And maybe there will be a serial killer down here. And I'm willing to bet it's a woman. Because uh, mostly male victims, they all have something shoved in their mouth very sensually and sexually. Seems like kind of a woman kind of deal. Like maybe she was forced to do some fellatio earlier in her life. She holds it as a grudge. But I'd like to say that this is not a normal reaction from a human. Uh, because a lot of us have bad things done to us. And, and you don't see us flipping out, killing people, and shoving things down their throat. Like, for example, if you go to this place on the map. Hold on. All the way over here. You see this is St. Denis right here. And then it says Bayou NWA. Right here, in this little cabin under the inn. Uh, I got raped. Twice. See, the first time I saved before I went there, and I showed up, and the guy seemed so nice. He was like this backwoods dude. He was like, hey there, fella. You want to be friends? You want to come on in? I got some snacks. I'm just, I'm weary, tired of going through the swamp. I was having a fun time. I was like, hey, snacks would be great right now. I'm beat. I've been traveling all day. I go in his cabin. Dude clubs me over the head and rapes me. It's the worst experience of my life. So then I back up a save, and I say we're gonna we maybe we got off the wrong uh, on the wrong foot. We'll go back at it again. And I show up, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, what the fuck was that? Dude clubs me over the head the second time, and I get raped a second time." And what does Arthur do? He just stands up, walks a little bit funny, and never speaks about it ever again. He internalized it. And I'm sure he's probably going to die of from the stress later in life. Probably contribute to some sort of aneurysm he has. High blood pressure. But uh, please go get raped. Now, I've been back to kind of air my grievances. You know, like Martin Luther. I was going to write an angry note and nail it on his door. And uh, fucking dude wasn't home. He was nowhere to be found. I think he just kind of like gives you the forcey fun time and then never comes back. I, it, it's uh, kind of a bummer, to be honest with you. Because I've also noticed that uh, Arthur Morgan has no... He has no romantic side plots. Like, any... There's no one... He can't fuck any prostitutes. He can't get into any relationships. And so getting raped by this hillbilly has been the only sexual contact Arthur's gotten the whole game. And I was like, dude... You know, uh... Maybe it wasn't that bad. You know, like when my mom's dogs hump each other because they have nothing else to, they have no women in their life. I don't think they're gay dogs. I just think they're like, fuck it. It's like prison here. You gotta get off somehow. And so I was going to return and give Arthur a little bit of release. But the guy was gone. It was pretty lame. Just got paid to hear some diaper money. It's not the bridge you're looking for, but the shack. It's just south of Valentine. Oh, it's not the bridge you're looking for, but the shack. It's just south of Valentine. Hey, dummy up. Thanks for the, the, the tip. Shit, you didn't even have to give me the fucking 33 bucks. That was the tip was good enough. Hold on. South of Valentine. It's not the bridge you're looking for, but the shack. Okay, it's not. This is the home that was made over there. South of Valentine, there's a shack, he says to me one day. South of Valentine. All right, I'm going to assume it's the Cumberland... F no, wait, that's... that. Okay, hold on. This is the Downs Ranch. Well, this is a fucking weird one. Here, I'm just going to go over to this area. Is it Lucky's Cabin? It's Southwest. The bridge you're looking for is under the inn on the map. Oh. Is it over here near Limpany? 
you know what? I'm just going to travel this way, and we'll, we'll figure it out once we're there. Oh, is it? Yes, Lucky's Cabin. Okay, hold on. Hold on. It was back. I saw it over here. Lucky's Cabin. Where's that at? Is it this place? Dude, this guy is killing people super close. How much of a ride is that? Oh, my dear fucking lord. Actually, that's not that bad. I, sh I should be able to get there in a hot minute. Not bad at all. This is some... We're coming back here, though. I'm gonna... I'll take, like, the ticket from Valentine uh, back to Wallace Station. It'll be a short ride, and I'll be back here in a fucking hot minute. I'm just gonna ride in a straight line. Run this guy over. Oh, I missed him. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. These are bad guys. Excuse me, ma. Jesus Christ. They shot my horse. Ooh, they shot me. All right, so the game's still relatively new. I gotta talk about some little things that I've seen and some other things that I suspect might be in here. For example, in Red Dead 1, there was a Yeti, a Sasquatch guy. Do you think Sasquatch is in this game? If so, where can I hunt him down and kill him? Secondly, the, uh, the, uh, okay, there was like a, I was in the swamps, right, in the bayou. And I found a, a group of dudes with knives, right? And they were kind of just like some backwoods hillbillies. Oh, like, yeah. they didn't have any technology kind of people. Which, that's fine. But there were some people on the Reddit talking about them being zombies. And I think, from the way people describe... Oh, oh shit, yeah. some guy's just getting fucked up over here. Hold on. Alright, hold on. I'll help this guy out. There we go. Help this guy out real quick. You all right, dude? Oh, 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 oh Jesus! Please, I can't, I can't take this pain. You want some health care? Got some medicine. Better than nothing. Damn it! That won't help. Look at me. I'm bleeding out. What? That won't help. It's health care. All right. Fucking, this will help. God damn. You know, I've always believed in easing someone's suffering. That's always been my MO. And so, uh, I feel like this guy really... <laughs> there we go. God. It feels good to help the populace. Oh, he's got some nice mutton chops. His were finely shaved, too. Oh, and he had a good raccoon pelt. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe that wolf gave him 28 stab wounds is fucking right. Jesus. I could have shot him, but that's not nearly as fun. I mean, you gotta get personal. Alright. Okay, we're like halfway there. At the no, we're more than halfway there. We're like right up in it. I finally get to use your stupid emotes. And, hey, that's an emphasis on stupid emotes. I think in the shitty emotes that nobody should be able to use game, I'm pretty far up there. They don't make any sense. Nobody knows when to use them, when not to use them. One of them that has text in it you can't even read. It, <laughs> They're just shitty. I really need to put some time in there and revamp my emotes because they're fucking bad. They're not good in the slightest. Hey, Muscle Bus, thanks for the 100 bits. How about you... Wait. Yo, talk about hoping the multiplayer is gonna be... I want to rob trains and banks and shit without having long-ass loading times like GTA Online. Alright, GTA Online was... was uh, It was, it was alright, but... Uh, loading times were a big issue. This game doesn't really have loading times that I've noticed. On, even on like I'm on PlayStation 4 it's pretty it's pretty slick now the cool th I always loved Red Dead's online because we're in GTA where you would like get together and go and do stuff but you had to like sit through loading screens to do it it was like you were in a separate lobby I always felt like Red Dead you just made a posse with your friends and then you could go do shit 
and you were still in the same game that everybody else was in. I hope that kind of carries over to like this game, to Red Dead Redemption 2. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be pretty upsetty, but you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to yell too loud. Oh shit. See, god damn it. I was looking at the fucking chat. Come on. Idiots, stop talking. Just say, say nothing in the chat. Fuck, I saw it like uh, flying by and some asshole was saying something. There is a Sasquatch in this game. Thank you. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I uh, fucked up my horse. I think my horse had a. Uh, a oh, hey! Hey, hey! Hold up a minute. Let's do a fucking let's uh, let's hard scope this one, real quick. Wait, what am I doing? Let's look at my no, not that. Look at my satchel here. Pull out my map. Wait, hold on. Put away the map real quick. I got it. There we go. Reopen map. Fucking hell. Look, look towards the bridge. The, all I'm trying to do is get the bridge shot. That's what. I, it's not working. There we go. All right, see, check this out. If we open this up, we got a bridge that goes across that. Isn't that the same thing? That doesn't look like it's the same thing at all, actually. I think this might be the wrong bridge. It kind of looks right. We'll find out. Yeah, this is it. I'm going in on foot, dude. And I've decided hold on, wait, 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 let me get some guns from this thing. Oh well, let's uh let's see here. I'm gonna get my Lancaster repeater. I want my matching pistols. There we go. We're going in first person style. With our Why do I have two different pistols? I wanted them matching. Showfield, Showfield. Did I not? Is that not what I have? Wait, wait, wait. Can I have the two shotguns? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, I think they're both Showfields. One's just nasty gold. Okay. On. We're gonna, we're, yeah, one's gotta be a, I don't know why that one's all gold. I don't like that. Here, this is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, I paint, I painted them all fucked up. I'm sorry. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. here it is. Okay, so this is the, this is the place with the lock on it. I found ya. Open basement doors. Oh, this gonna be good. I don't know how I'm holding... The pistol's just kind of like floating in my hand right there. Explore the basement. Wait, wait. I gotta have my lantern out. Old Tammy Lack. Hello? There seems to be a lot of skulls in here. Hello? Oh, there's just a note. Hold on, inspect letter. What do we got here? What, you're not going to read the letter? Right there, come on. In inspect the letter. Inspect the letter. Inspect letter. Here we go. What does this one say? Read it. Dear Edmund, what has gotten into you of late? Our dinners together, which were once such a pleasure to me, have become a terrible strain. You appear at times tired, 
distracted, febrile, and agitated. And sometimes all those things at once. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good diagnosis there. It was a mistake for you to ever have moved out of home. While I approved of your decision to forego marriage in order to spend more time with me, I did not envisage it would be this kind of company. Maybe a wife is what you need after all, said nobody ever. Our kindly neighbor has informed me of your comings and your goings from your rooms at all hours of the night. Does this mean there is a close friendship with your m- friendship your mother doesn't know about? I hope your taste and companionship has improved these past years, but I shall keep an open mind. I should like an explanation of all of this from you presently. Your loving and concerned mother. P.S. I hope you're eating and sleeping and taking the laudanum that Dr. Finkels gave you. That should improve your nerves somewhat. Interesting. Uh Uh-huh. Wait, maybe I should get that lantern back out. Hello? It's, he's got a bunch of newspaper clippings in here. Holy fuck. Inspect the knife. Oh, shit! Jesus Christ! All right. <laughs> Have you come for me? <clears throat> or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You oh, should think yeah. about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen now. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. Oh! Get headbutted! Let's finish this. Oh, wait, I'm in first person. What the f- You can fight people in first person? What the heck and hoot? That's fucking wild, son. Wait, do I get this camera? You know, forgive me for wanting to check out the rest of this place, but it's, uh, it's interesting. Hold on. Okay, that there is some Fallout 4 Raider technology. The mummified head. Oh, that's interesting. Got some arms and legs. Looks like a blonde scalp there on the floor. I bet you it was so e- This dude knocked off my fucking hat. Okay, there's some things you can do to me, but that ain't one of them. Hold on. You know, if I could, uh, if I could just- Oh, yeah! If I could digress here, I'm sorry if this is boring or anything, but I want to get a body count on this guy. If we could. Let's start from the beginning. All right, so first we have our three confirmed people that their heads are still at the crime scene, right? There's the three that had the maps and everything. Those are the the ones outside of this basement that we know of. And uh, I'm going to do it by skull because I figured skull's the easiest way to do it. Did he get up? Oh, no, he's just wiggling around. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we got seven... Because of these four clustered in here, plus the three. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. On the floor there. See that twelfth one? Just sitting there on the floor next to my boot print. Alright, let me let me make sure we're not missing any. Hold on. Twelve so far in this entry room. I don't see any skulls in there. I just see hands. And... And other entrail bits. Alright, he can't break out of that, can he? No, he can't. Okay. We got some heads up here. 
No, wait, those are scalps. Scalps cannot be counted because I don't know if they're from the skulls that are out there. Although that one, I'm not going to lie, you see the one by the map? That one looks like it has a bit of cranium stuck to it. You know? Or is that just skin? Do you guys want to count scalps that have bits of cranium as, as part of a... You know, this is a... You know, I'm not going to count those, because I don't know if that's cranium bits or not. That might just be skin back there. All right, so we're at 12, right? Oh, no more skulls on this table or anything. Uh, it says don't count, but look at that. Look at the way, look at the way this, this bit of scalp on the table is curved up. It's so rigid. There's a bit of cranium, like the, it's a section of skull with hair on it. That's not like, it's not like he scalped the guy. That's like a bit of skull. I'm telling you. Scalp threat, uh, scalp flesh is really thick. Okay, I'll, you know what, I'll side with you guys. Alright, so that's, we got 12. Let me look around, make sure there's no ha none hanging from the ceiling. 13 is right here on the floor. Along with 14 right next to it. Excuse me, sir, if I could just step over you real quick. Sir. Sir, please. Okay. We got 15 here on the floor. Oh my god, there's a shitload in here. Let's do 16, 17 on the chair. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23... Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six with the no eyes, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine is the skull. Thirty is the mummified one, and thirty-one is the meat hooked one. Is that thirty-one? Is that what I was at? I think 30, yeah. Okay, so that's 32 on the ground. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40 with those on the pillar. And I think that is all. That's a lot of fucking people. Oh, I also threw the one that I start, wait. Yeah, I threw the one at him. I don't know where that one went. So, is that 42? Is that where we're at? 42? Yeah, I forgot about the one that I threw. Solid 40. Fuck. Okay, so that's 40. I thought we had more than 40. There's another note in this one's mouth. I'm kind of hoping I can get it. It won't let me grab it, though. Yeah. Yeah. This guy says not really that much. That's a lot of people. If you look at like serial killers and stuff, like the ones that are the most prolific, I, like Ted Bundy didn't kill that many people. Uh, Andre Chikatilo didn't kill that many people. I would I would assume this guy's in league with like the BTK killer, Dennis Rader. What I forget how many he killed, but I mean this is a lot of fucking people, man. Especially to do it like this. Hold on a second, uh, before I, yeah, 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 gotta grab me a pitcher, you know, just for, uh, you old timey, uh, it's gotta be such a dark pitcher, damn it, Daniel, is there not a more well-lit corpse around here, I got this lantern, can I push this around? What kind of, let's see. Yeah, to remember the class trip, I really wanted to just get a pick. I can't, like, pick this, this lantern up, can I? I wanted to move it to a place where it's more well lit. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go bowling. Come on, Mr. Impressive Serial Killer, dude. Let's get the hell out of here. Awesome. 
Now, do we get to kill him, or is this a... Uh... Oh, I'm going to do like a bounty hunter thing. Isn't that nice? Oh, and the horse is shitting with him right there. Look at that. Well, this has certainly been more fruitful than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be just like a dead guy once we were in there. I didn't think it was actually... Because what kind of guy locks himself in a basement? I didn't think that was going to happen. And by the way, I love how if you ride... Okay, if I had just taken some random dude, a law-abiding citizen, and tied him up, put him on the back of my horse, these people on the roads would be like, Dear God, there's a man breaking the law. But they assume... What, like, just, like, everybody knew this guy was the serial killer or something? Like, as soon as I pass by him with this guy, they're like, Oh, it's okay. It's just the old serial killer that nobody's done anything about. The fuck? Did you guys know it was him? Why do they get pissed at me sometimes and not other times? Sam, you can auto-drive using cinematic view. Yeah, but that's not fun! Hold on, let me hitch... There we go. The door was locked, Sam. They couldn't get him. I forgot about that. Fuck. Oh, by the way, TJ Kane Kainsler, thanks for the sub. Death Wish Jack, thanks for the sub. Like, all the people that subbed and stuff while I was not paying attention. Dual show fields are fucking cool. I run the same setup. One is black and one is white, and I call them segregation. Oh, that's not that's not ethical. Have you seen the uh, the bounty poster for the two guys you can catch? Hold on. Put them on the floor and let's take a look at them. Drop them close to the sheriff's desk. Put them down. Put them down. All right, here you go. Oh, I hit his head on the fucking thing. Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Head over to the cellar. For that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, well, come on, you. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. Can you remember that, my friend? I'm sure I shall. You know, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell was that? What's he doing? Wait, what am I doing? What the hell is wrong with you? There we go. Get out of here. What I do? My reward. What was it? It was bugged. What, are you gonna cry? Huh? You gonna cry? Hold on, wait, let me get a picture of that face. That's one only a mother could love. Son, you better get out of here. Her little boy in tears. Getting his ass beat by the... <laughs> you didn't hear me? Go. There we go. I'll save that. That one's for the books. Hold on. This is a... Uh... Okay, I'm going. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I I don't know exactly what happened there. I think there was some sort of uh, animation fail on their end. But, like, the serial killer was just standing there, T-posing with the best of them. Which, to be honest with you, was a little bit more frightening than if he had just simply attacked them, you know? <laughs> kind of sucks I didn't get any money from that. Maybe I can, you think I can go back in there now that he's cooled down? Hey, he's walking out now. Hi. Oh. Oh, he can't get out of his own sheriff office. Look, he banged into the door. There we go.
Hello? Can I get some can I get some quick bucks? I caught a prolific serial killer. You would have gotten the money if you would shoot the psycho. Fuck! Are you serious? Are you serious right now, bro? Are you tugging my dick, bro? Interesting. Fuck. Well, I messed that up. Oh, just shoot him now? Okay. Is he still on the floor? No, the body's gone. They dragged him away. Hmm. Interesting. Bitch, what are you doing in here? This guy's in here. Okay. Wait, Benedict Albright? Isn't that the name of the sheriff? Oh, let me go look at the sheriff. No, his name is, uh, I don't know. I named my horse Abigail Shapiro because... <sighs> well, I don't want to explain that one. Anyways, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, anyways. Let's, um... What was I, I was going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to travel up this, uh, this here river and explore the uncharted territory. <laughs> and this guy's like demanding it. He's like, hey, Sam, explain, please. Explain that. I want to get an explanation, to be honest with you, chief. <laughs> Reload the save and you can do it. All right, fucking hell. I don't, I don't have a save. American dreams. After piecing together mass from scraps, a killer's underground lair has been discovered. All right, I'll fuck here. I'll I'll do this one. I'll see like how far back it was. <laughs> Kazar milkers. <laughs> Are you gonna make another Twitter? Yeah, my Twitter got fucking suspended again for some reason. I don't know what it was. Seriously, I've been on my best behavior. I haven't post I haven't posted a single threat. I haven't posted a anything. Nothing bad. Oh, this ain't good. Wait, is this before or after I helped out with the uh, Have I already done Lucky's cabin on this one? Hold on, let me I'm going to go talk to the sheriff, see what's going on. Yeah, I well see that that's where I had my issue before was I posted a threat on Twitter, um, um, and this time I've been a fucking good boy. I have been the best boy, and uh, to be honest with you, Chief, I don't know. I did post that video of uh, the fucking lady uh, fucking the skeleton. You know. Hey, buddy. Sir? Thank you for keeping the peace. We need more like you. So long. So long. Fuck, dude. Come on. You really fixing to intimidate me? You? I'm just looking for money. I'm looking for what's mine. Dick butt. I had to call him dick butt. I had to. All right. Yep. I guess, uh, here, you know what? Just in case. Uh just in case this was before the issue, like before I had actually caught the guy, I'm going to roll on down to Lucky's cabin because I have to go that way anyways on my way out of here. And uh, and I'll, I'll pop back in that place. Let's see if I can jump over this. God, this horse is fucking slow as dicks. Hey, Clumsy Gamer, thanks for the sub. Baron Von Wiener Schnitzel, thanks for the three bucks. Here's some cash giving me some good laughs after finding your YouTube. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um. <laughs> this ain't no charity, Sheriff. Yeah, I caught a guy that's killed 40 people. 40! That's a big number last time I checked. 
And this guy's giving me, he's giving me guff because he can't even beat up a little aspy serial killer. This ain't the cabin, what the fuck? Oh, it's over here, okay. Alright. No, I don't want to rest, you fucking idiot! Get in the- How far behind is your stream? What does that mean? Far behind is my stream. Like, far behind you? I don't know. How far behind is your monitor? Behind your body? Like, what? Far behind is my stream. Like, how, like what's the time delay? I think only like 10 seconds or something. Oh, the delay? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type in chat. All right, this is what I'm going to do. Check this out. I'll type in chat. And then, and then I'll clap at the same time. Wait, how do I clap while I'm typing enter? All right, hold on. I'll yell and type in chat at the same time, and you guys will get an idea. All right, so I'm going to uh, Garuga Mesh. That's what I'm going to type. Ready? And go. Ah! All right, that shit I just put in chat, That count the seconds from when that came up to when I scream. And you'll have a good indicator of what the delay is. Five to seven seconds. Yeah. No, it's a five second delay. People in the industry call that a pretty dank stream. Come on, you know. <laughs> it, it, it's, yeah, this is, it's a delay of nine meters. Yeah. That was fucking forever. Well, okay, also, the stream delay has something to do with your connection as well. So... If your connection is absolute dog shit, then you know you're gonna have some issues there as well. But like, if if everything's all right on your connection side, and if everything's all right uh, with me, then it shouldn't be too long, unless I do like a manual delay. Like I know people that play Rust or whatever, they'll have like a 30 minute delay so that they can stream, and or they'll have like a five minute delay. So ah, I just do you see that? I was, f I was riding down the road and a fucking bird hit me in the face. Pick it up, bird. Where's it at? There we go. Little birdie, come here. Oh, it was like a little chickadee thing. <laughs> it like hit me in the forehead. <laughs> awesome. That's, that's what I call hunting. <laughs> Have you seen the horse's nut shrink yet? Uh, excuse me, my horse is named Abigail Shapiro. Alright, my horse is a female. My horse has a big, tight pussy that shrinks and contracts. It doesn't have balls. You know, I noticed how fucking- hold on. I would like to just say, uh, Rockstar Gaming, you're pretty sexist, alright? You put all this time into dynamic horse testicles and horse genitalia. But uh, not a single thing into female horse genitalia shrinking and contracting, getting wet and sloppy. You know? They just kind of sit there. You really need to do some extra work with that. Uh, <laughs> you know, for equality. That's what I was trying to say. For equality, guys. Guys, if, if a Twitch moderator's watching right now, it's just because of equality's sake. <laughs> Some guy's just like, no, in chat, just no, no, Sam, you're wrong. All right, All right let me look at, let me check out the old map. Uh, okay, I could go across. Dude, I could just cut a hard left right here. And this would bring me across the river, am I right? How far is this bridge? Oh, that doesn't go across the river. What the fuck does this go across? Just a little gorge, I guess. Hey, you guys want to see something funny that I found? I don't know if it's part of the game or not, like if it was intentional. But look here. They're trying to, you know, you can tell they're trying to be pretty serious in this game. But uh, look here at the map, right? You got Valentine. Wait, where's Valentine? Oh, you got Valentine right here. Now look at this fucking lewd act. If you go down south near Caliban's seat, what do you see here? Right in the middle of the map. Here. 
there's uh, let me outline it for you. You got this little circular thing, and then you got this little circular thing over by Diablo Ridge, and then it comes to this long shaft-like thing around the river here. What does that look like to you? I can't figure that out. Anybody else figure out what that is? Whatever it is, it's making my mouth water like something fierce. What is that? Huh? That's not dynamic shrinkage if I've ever seen it. Those are some big round testicles. What's up with that? <laughs> it's a big fat wiener, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You get me all fucking sweaty over here trying to play a serious cowboy game. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, in all seriousness, se serious, <clears throat> in all seriousness, I can say it, guys. Don't worry, I'm not retarded. Uh, you know, if Twitch people are watching, not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, retards are people too. But <laughs> in all seriousness, this game is beautiful. It's got scenic vistas. It's got everything. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. There's some. There's some bounty hunters over here. Doing bounty hunter shit. Fucking hell. Stop getting caught up in the trees, dude. Just ride down the road. Oh, and bounty hunters are stealing this guy away. Did they take a left or a right? Oh, they're there. To the left. Don't worry, I got him. I'm gonna chase him down. Show him what for. These fucking guys go. There he is. Alright. Let's see here. I'm kind of a Lancaster repeater kind of guy, but I'm also going to roll out with the uh, semi-auto shotgun. And I'm going to... Uh, there we go. I got plenty of dead eye for this. Hold on. Let me get up to a place where I can see him. Oh! Well, I took one out. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! I got him! Unfortunately, his friend got away, and he's the one with the bounty. Come on, let's go. Where's he at? There he is. There we go. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, horse kept riding. Hey, what's up, buddy? Now I'm gonna put you on mine. Why don't you put me down, friend? The floor for a bit. Wait, is this a bad guy or a good guy? It's hard to tell. Hold on. I'm getting real nauseous on your back here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut him free because I don't know what he is. Yeah, is this guy a good guy or a bad guy? Here, I'll get the lasso ready just in case. What's up, dude? Oh boy, I sure owe you one. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. Oh sweet Jesus, don't got you. Man. All right, he is a—he's a bad guy. He's alive. Yeah, I thought he was like a maybe getting raped or something. He's a bad guy. <laughs> me this goddamn instant. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, you got to give them a little bit of freedom. It brings the hope back in their eyes before they're hung. Hey, what are you doing? There you go. What the hell are you doing? He just said he was framed? Relax, partner. I'm taking care of all your troubles. Yeah, but that doesn't uh, matter to me. You see, I just, uh, hold on. You know what? We're so close to where I was trying to go. You, you, never mind. You know what? I'm not sure if you guys have played this game much. But this city I'm about to go to, called Strawberry, is hands down the most beautiful place in the game. It's fucking incredible. Oh, for the love of God, don't you take me in now. Just doing my job, friend. Yeah, see? He, you're a wanted man. He's wanted, man. I get, I get money for that. I don't give a fuck if he did the crime or not. Why am I going up this way? 
go over here, dude. Come on, the dots this way. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you guys have been to uh, to Strawberry yet. Uh, this town, you know, it's kind of beautiful. If you could like own a house in a in a village in this game, I would definitely live in Strawberry. Like, get you you guys got to see this place. Uh, if it was a woman, I would ravage her. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if it was a, if this town was a woman, I would seductively take her out on a date and buy her mom presents to win her favor. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody shot this place up, but you know what? Strawberry is such a nice place that they forgive it. They forgive and forget. All right, on. Let's get up here. It's up in them wild hills out in the country. It's kind of a... You, you, Jesus! Fuck! He didn't die, did he? Oh, no. He's still on the floor. We're good. Wait, it says he's dead. He's not dead. It just said that for some reason. <laughs> if this town was a woman, I would respect her so hard. Exactly. Thanks, Stink Badge, for really putting the words that I was looking for. Uh, you know what? You really got to give respect to your horse in this game. My horse is named Abigail Shapiro. And, man, do I res... Oh, holy shit. This horse is carrying the two of us with such grace, you know? I was, uh, I was thinking... I just don't see how it's possible for a creature named Abigail Shapiro to carry two heavy things like this with such grace and looking damn good while doing it, you know? Uh, it's just one of the great wonders of, of nature, you know? Yeah, I'm sure the horse has back problems, but... Uh... <laughs> she seems to be doing all right. <laughs> there's one guy, there's one guy in chat that got that. He was like, yeah! <laughs> God. <laughs> Strong, independent horse, Abigail. Hell yeah. I just killed a squirrel by stepping on it. Alright. Here we are. How do I get down here? Yo, can horses go down staircases? Fucking bet your sweet asshole they can. Get down there. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. Beautifully done. Hello, you look hungry. Excellent. Look at this place, dude. It's so pretty, and it's got this little. Look at this. All right, it has this little river in the middle of it, going right through with this. Oh my God! It's got this little bridge and everything. It's. You can't act like this place isn't beautiful. Come on. Don't be stupid. Alright, let me just hitch this bitch up. Ooh, that uh, hitching post almost went up my ass on the way out. Remove stranger. I love how you guys are critiquing Abigail Shapiro on her looks. Alright. Let me tell you something. Every single one of you in this chat, myself included, looks like a foot. We're all pretty... Like, I just love what the internet has done to us. The internet has made us where it's like... Come on, put the criminal in his cell. Oh, there we go. The internet's made it so, like, the most ugly guy in the world can be like... Look at the hottest girl, you know, a solid eight to nine to ten out of ten, and just go, oh, you know, I don't like her cheekbones. They're low. They look weird. It's like, dude, I look like fucking Jabba the Hutt. I should be happy with anything. But in the world where I have seen more titties than all of my ancestors combined, I can sit there and look at a fucking solid goddess out of ten that in previous generations, they probably waged war on Troy for a bitch that doesn't look as good as, as fucking Abigail Shapiro. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, you know, her elbows are kind of pointy. 
I don't like it. Oh, my money! God damn it, I was talking about Abigail Shapiro's titties again. Get back in there. Get back in there. Ah! Where's my money? Where's my money? There it is. Take that money clip. Oh my God. Jesus. That was rough. I said cut it out. That was a spooky time. Okay, we just solved a serial killer murder. And that was not nearly as scary as me forgetting my money clip on the desk of the sheriff's office. That was true fear. That was absolute pure fear in my eyes. I got $8? That's all I got? That's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Alright. Now, this great territory over here by Owen, Owen Gila or whatever, I haven't discovered this yet. I also haven't discovered all this up here, but there's not a whole lot going on. Wait a second. What's that? What the fuck is that? What is that? That's a house. I gotta go to it. I'm sorry. I love little homesteads off the beaten path. That's where I found all my cool shit, and I'm going to it. You guys can't stop me. Although I should probably take an established yep. road because this yep. looks like it's going to be breaking my horse's legs the whole way there. Oh yeah, this is going to be rough right off the bat. Yep, I'm going to hit the first road I see. Wait, is this even leading me in the right way? Oh, it sort of is. I'll be crossing over a road here in a second. We're good. We're good. Keep calm, everybody. Just gotta do a little bit of sliding. Yeah, see, there we go. We're back on, on target. <sighs> Hell yeah, let's visit a shitty rape shack. Dude, that's the way to go. I mean, if you don't... I really... I I just got to the part where we move camps over to uh, near Lemoyne. And, like, I did all that shit leading up to that, like, today. So, I have spent very little time doing the story. I've just been exploring everything. And I've spent a lot of time playing this game. Like, hold on, let me look at the map. I've explored everything. Uh, there's, yeah, there's still some uncharted territory up here. There's uh, a little bit of stuff over here. And then I have this whole area south of Blackwater that I haven't done yet. But, for the most part, I've done a lot of exploring and a lot of side quests and stuff. And Brian is on the opposite end of the spectrum. He has done nothing but story. And then was like, I was sitting there telling him about like getting, uh, getting the, the, ooh, damn, Daniel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was telling him about all the crazy shit I had done. He's like, well, I haven't, had, I haven't found any of that. It's because you're busy playing the story mission, you big, stupid idiot, dumb. Sorry for the language, guys. I didn't mean that. Trying to get like a Ansel Adams print going on here. What is that? Is that a farmstead? Oh, that's that place where they shot at me last time. I think I'm too high up to make that a decent shot. Because it's like, it's too much detail, but like the center point of what I want is too small within the frame. I'm too high up. I need to, if there was like a small point down here, hey, there's one right there actually. Then that, oh, I'm dying apparently. I need to eat some shit. I'll eat some cheese real quick. Oh, eat the cheese, dude. There we go. There we go. Now eat some salted beef to round off that meal. Perfect. I, um... <laughs> I think I'm going to make a video that's like the photographer of, you know how I made like a photography video for uh, GTA? I was going to make one for this game because I've, I've been sitting there like taking uh, pictures this whole time I've been playing and then I save them in a folder, uh, like a screenshots folder. 
and I've maxed out my camera roll, and I have to delete a picture every time I take one, basically. Anyway, hold on. Someone donated five bucks. Yo, Retric, thanks for the... I can't stop. Hold on. I have to stop. Wait! What's that up there? Hold on. I got to hard scope it with my... With my... But where the fuck is my shit? There we go. I'm going to use my, my bow. Epic. Hawk feathers are worth something. Retric, thanks for the uh, five bucks. Happy Halloween. I finished the story and didn't explore. Now I want to restart. Yeah, see? I'm telling you, dude. You got to get up in there. You got to you gotta explore some shit. Oh, look at this. There's like a little bag of goodies on the floor. And a compass. And a bedroll. Fucking pluck some of these feathers out of here. You know what? Ooh, you hear that thud it made? Ooh, aged pirate rum. No, I didn't mean to fucking pick that up. I wanted to pick up the rum. Yo, horse, come here. There you go. Let's store that thing. You know, tie it around the head. Yeah, I can't pick up the rum for some reason. Do I have too much of it? Oh, there we go. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, horse just shitted. Yeah, dude, that thing shit hard. Yep. Alright, it looks like this is a basically a pretty straight path. I'm just gonna haul ass down here. What's the worst that could happen, right? That was almost treacherous. I'm so fucking tired of this. Like, as you approach obstacles, your horse just bucks and starts doing weird stuff. That it's not supposed to be doing. I am not guiding it as much as you would think. And all of a sudden it'll just like take a right turn out of nowhere. Either that or we'll do one of those jumps and land into a fucking rock or a tree or something. You'd break my guy's legs. Ooh, what's that in front of me? Nah, I don't want that. Wait, this is flat enough ground. I'm just going to go straight across. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, sure. You guys want the volume up higher? Hold on. There you go. He's hunting for something. Oh, it's something that went right past our horse, too. He's, look at this guy. He's a grandmaster of all hunts. Yep. She's laying a good trail. Epic. I'm gonna get a picture of this guy. This is gonna be for my uh, my portrait phase. And my uh, yeah, that's not a good photo. Come on. I need to get him at like when he's skinning it. What's he hunting for, anyways? I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. It's that buck over there. These droppings are fresh. Well, stop fucking tasting the shit and shoot it. So you're fucking licking his lips. Why? Do, oh yeah, I forgot I have the camera out. I'm like, why does it keep doing that? There we go. I'm not gonna kill him yet. I don't get to that, don't worry. Been here recently. Come on, dude. Okay, okay. I've seen you hunt down something. It doesn't take this long. You're not the first hunter I've been with. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's in front of us. You see it? Just standing there. It's a big ass elk, too. Yo, if you don't kill that thing, I'm gonna be upset. Here we go. Yep, here we are. Smells like dinner. Smells like dinner. All right, get this. 
Here we go. Oh, yeah. He's getting to a spot where he can shoot it. It's right fucking there, dude. I thought I saw you over there. What are you... Oh, he's actually looking to the right. Okay. Holy fucking dog shit! No oh, that's a great picture! Oh! We're watching cinematic history, everyone! It's The Revenant! Holy dog shit! Alert, my camera rolls full. Oh, no! Ah! That was traumatic. I don't have anything to deal with this. Oh my god, it's The Revenant! That guy's getting fucked up! Holy shit! Ah! Hold on. Hold on, fam. Hold on, fam. Fam. You gotta hold on on this one. Chief! Chief, my pictures! My pictures! Holy shit! My pictures! And my hat. That's the important part. I got my hat! Epic! Don't worry, guys. Oh my god, look at my back. Hey, this is gonna make an awesome tail. Okay. Okay, hold on. We gotta get some more pictures of this guy. Fucking crime scene. This is brutal crime scene over here. Where'd his body go? There it is. Alright, what we, what we gotta do is everybody knows that a proper dude stages his photographs. We gotta stage this one, Chief. Or else it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good. Hold on. There we go. In the clutches of the bit. Wait, hold on. No, we gotta we gotta do this better. Yeah. This is it, Chief. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. Ugh. They have to look like they were in the throes of of love. You know, I want people to question my photograph. Like, were they in the in the in the clutches of love or or fighting to the death? It's up to the viewer to decide. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. Hold on, hold on. I gotta delete some photos. Hold on, Chief. Yeah, they were they were in the middle of making love epic style. Okay, wait, let's look at these real quick. That's a, okay, we got some action going on here. Hold on, let me get rid of the, the UI. We got some action here, some motion blur. The bear, such ferocity, such anger. This is a pure moment. The focus looks like it's a little bit off. You see, that one is, that one's just triumphant. That is, that's nature versus man, and nature's winning. This one here is, uh, that's a moment of pure terror. For the hunter, I'm sure. You might have realized that at the time. There's a lot of passion in this photo, I feel. Uh, overall, I think aesthetically, this is the best one. Now, I gotta uh, delete some of these on. I, I'm gonna delete the one with my horse in it, because I just kind of like the landscape. Or should I keep the horse in there? I don't know. Hold on. Let's back up. I'm just gonna delete this one. Yeah, this one's gonna be del Delitos. Yeah. This guy said, keep horse, to be honest. All right, there we go. All right. Now we can... God, dude, what a sensual... What a sensual story this picture tells right here. Uh, that That's one for the books. I'm not gonna lie, fellas. That's one for the books. And you know what? While I'm at it... Hold on, which way is the sun facing? Hop up on this one, chief. Hop up on this one, Chief. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see, right? Wait, hold on. There we go. And we're going to do a self-portrait. What? Where'd the bear go? The bear disappeared. I was going to do a slav squat on top of its body. Can I do one next to this guy? His body disappeared too. God damn it. Fuck. How am I supposed to do a sexy slav squat on top of the body if, if everything disappears? Yeah. 
That sucks. Dude, and I'm not going to lie to you, as cool as that whole thing was, that bear has effectively ruined my outfit, all right? Because, let's face it, I was looking kind of good, all right? I was looking like a snack, and now look what it's done. It has ruined a very expensive jacket. Uh, the front, oh my god, the front's ruined as well. My belly's scratched up. My face has a couple scratches on it. I am worse for wear right now. This is not epic. Oh, hey, Abby got home early. So, you know what? We're going to end on that note. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And, uh, you know, I might clip that, that whole thing and make it into like a video or something. Fuck off. You know, we're done.